happy Friday. So this week I've explored how as an organisation and leaders in our organisation, we can be in a position to absorb constant, unprecedented, volatile, disruptive change. We've been through a lot in the last 20 months and there's more to come. The next big disruption is around the corner. I don't know what it looks like, nor do you, but I know it's there. So we have to be ready for it. So this week I've talked about the force for change. These are the elements that your organisation needs to be able to embrace that constant change and stay ahead of the competition. So we talked about focus on Monday, that power of why for every change that we do. Leadership orientation, to be adaptive leaders and agile. We've talked about workforce resilience that says, game on, constant change is our norm, that's what we do. We talked about the network of change coaches yesterday, and we're going to wrap with empathy. Unless we can all lead with empathy, there is no way we're going to be able to embrace and get through constant change without stress, anxiety, fatigue and burnout. Every one of us has experienced the pandemic in a different way. Every one of us will react to changes in a different way. And we all need to have empathy for the other person's position. We often talk about empathy, or we hear people saying, you know, walk a, walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes and you can be empathetic. I actually believe it's understanding how the other person feels walking in their shoes. It's their situation. It's their context. It's their experiences. It's their challenges that we have to understand. So we can have the right conversations. We can support each other. We can be there for each other. We can help each other through challenges, problems and adversity. So it's care and compassion and empathy. This has always been important. All of these things have been important, but never so much as now and going forward. Have a good weekend and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.